Welcome, Aquarius, to when your heart spread for the end of September. And um, using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot to give it our. And, um, I noticed the high priestess, which is on the cover, it's also on the bottom of the deck when I took the cards out today. Um, so, uh, this is the end of September time frame. Um, last uh, two Saturdays, always Aquarius uh, Pisces day. I do two signs every day, so um, always on Saturday. We had a single spread next month, and that would be anything uh, sign based astrology wise, going to be uh, Saturdays for Aqua and um, Pisces. Right now, this is reading who's in, uh, on your mind, who's in your heart here. And um, I guess I really need glasses for these. Well, I like these cards. They're big. And I think you can see them a little easier. So, let me see here. Trying to get in close to personals. And here we go. Let's see. End of September time frame. Big month. <laughs> I think, man, so many things. Uh, follow me on Facebook if you would. It's uh, on my page there. It should be a link to Facebook. And um, just put up an article today. Worked on a good bit for the Mercury retrogrades. Or I do like personal astrology because I think everybody else is doing everything. So I say, well, I'm going to look at this from my personal point of view. How's, how's this impacting me? And I'm kind of also trying to teach a little by saying this is how I look at my own personal chart to kind of comprehend how this Mercury uh, retrograde might be impacting me personally. My big takeaway with astrology is uh, it's in relation to our natal chart that matters, not the transit to transit energy. So here, we kind of are looking at your first house and your seventh house, the number one and number two cards. This is you, number one, a star. <laughs> well, amazing. So, Aquarius, you're coming up in your own reading in the position of this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship right now. Try to separate this a little from your person. Uh, whenever I see a sign get their own card here, um, if you're a cross watcher, first of all, this is about who they're thinking of. So if you're that person, um, this is an Aquarius who's 100% totally authentic. So uh, I would say really this is the very best energy to enter a heart spread with. And I do read this kind of for beginning uh, relationships. If it's an existing relationship, this card, I would need you to kind of think back to where you were at, you know, when you started your relationship. If you don't do it, like a first meeting chart can be so helpful too. When you consider it with everything else, particularly if you're a romantic devil, um, one of you, anyway, remembers the exact time of your first meeting. So, I mean, it's about as auspicious a beginning as you could possibly get. Now, your person comes in with the Three of Cups. Now, this is an interesting call. Um, I'm really not wanting to always read the Three of Cups as a third-party energy, but I have to read it here as third-party because this is their position of where they're at, and this is around love and relationships. And I'm trying to get a, a baseline here to look now at the second and third positions as to how you then react to them and how they react to you. Which I think is this hawk just flew by my fourth floor window. So note that. <laughs> hawk, a spirit messenger. You can Google that um, and uh, be worthwhile. Well, too, when I'm done, but got an idea. Because uh, I, whenever I see an animal like that prominent on it, you know, it's like, okay, spirit, thank you, I'm gonna check it, you know. Uh, and he came around, like, did a little pass, like, real close, like, hit the window. Okay, so, and with this spread and this position, you know, um, it's gonna be somebody, you know, third parties, this is emotional, though. Um, I, I kind of got the sense of what's called an emotional affair. Uh, if it's an existing relationship or if it's a new relationship, forming relationship, that their energies are split with one or more other people. I think it can go literal at this sometimes. You know, it can be often the case. Um, a lot of times people meet, I mean, maybe you've been dating, maybe you've been at a dating site, you know, you've been seeing some people and what you're trying to do, figure things out, and now you come along with yourself. Being, and when you're in this energy, you've got to be massively appealing. 
because this is you, Aquarius, is completely being yourself. I mean, and someone's going to love that to death. I mean, there's an authenticity, this energy of authenticity that would just be coming off of you. Um, but it certainly seems like they're in a, a, a relatively frivolous position uh, compared to you. We'll put it that way. Let's see how they react. Chariot. Now, this is your energy and, and reaction to them. So I can see what's going on here, Aquarius. You feel like this is a soulmate. You might feel like this is a twin flame. And you are drawn to them. I just see the chariot this way. Um, you're the star card in the chariot. My God, man, uh, this is a spiritual energy. Um, you very well, it, you know, because if this was any other sign but Aquarius, I would say you are a master manifester, and you are manifesting with the, especially the chariot card. You are manifesting a, a soulmate, um, and this is your reaction to them. So it could simply be you're drawing them to you. And as you see them, you're feeling like, okay, this is, this is it. This is what I was wanted to do. Because when you're in the chariot energy, it's emotional. Um, and it's also feeling good about where you're at. Like you're in sync with your soul's purpose. So this would imply that you really see them as a soulmate, Aquarius. And they come in now as the king of wands. Now this is them reacting to you, going from the Three of Cups to the King of Wands. I gotta say, um, there's nothing wrong with the King of Wands, but it would imply to me that there's a big turnaround with them. It's like, I, I want to use the phrase, you really turn their head. They were frivolous, and, and they were indulging themselves I'd say like emotionally indulging themselves and in in frivolous relationships maybe affairs um, it's the energy of um, I mean this person this three of cups energy it's it's just fifth house energy it's fun that's fun and play and it's fun sex and fifth house. nothing wrong with it that's just what it is it's not kind of energy I would think that somebody's showing up as a star the star in their own reading as an Aquarian and feeling about this person with the chariot energy here, um, that's pretty serious. I mean, it's not the same kind of energy. But I get the sense with them coming in with this King of Wands, particularly if they're gonna be a fire sign. I'm looking for a fire sun, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, could be a sun, moon, rising, Venus in this kind of reading. But if it's not the sun, then it's some kind of dominant energy, you know? Um, they've got uh, uh, their Mars or Venus, particularly in a fire sign. Maybe their Venus uh, rules their ascendant or something. So it gives it some real punch in them, in them, in the way they love. So this person, then I would see that then as a as pretty good sign. It's like really they're so, if they're fire signs. What I'm saying, it's like they're matching your energy. You're coming in and being authentic, okay? And now they're coming in and being authentic. They would be a little bit older, maybe not older than you, just someone that's mature, uh, someone that may have authority, may work in a position of authority, um, may uh, be able to take care of themselves. It'd definitely be someone here, Aquarius, who's going to be outgoing and assertive. You know, um, if you look at this person too, this card, it's got the kind of baby face. I wouldn't be surprised if they have a baby face, quote unquote. You know, um, I'm not saying it's good or bad, just like it'd be interesting to comment. <laughs> please, please comment anyway. Like, share, subscribe, help me out. Uh, tell friend, tell friend. Um, really, uh, all these things help them algorithm. And I just want to get out to more people. It's not ego. It's like I, I've been talking to God a lot lately. And I'm like, look, if you don't want me to do this, <laughs> I won't waste my time with it. I got a lot of things I can do. Um, so, uh, I do want to get it out there to people, or it really doesn't do any good, you know. Um, if you're an Aquarius and you can watch this a few minutes, it really helps you, it costs anything. Um, um, that's kind of what I had in mind, it would be the good thing to do. So, I see this being very positive. Um, it's as if, you know, you uh, straighten this person up, and it would just because they sort of were probably re uh, realized that this is resonating with you. If, whether they've told you or not, maybe if you get into it with them, I'd love you to share these readings with your lovers. Um, they might say, like, you know, because you are substantial, 
and authentic Aquarius, uh, it kind of made me think about myself and what am I doing? What do I want out of life? And I'm realizing that I am attracted to you. And I tell you, if this is a twin flame situation, you would definitely be the activator here and they would be the sleeper, but it would be a very uh, good case because uh, here I see them actually waking up, okay? Uh, they're very much waking up to you. It would be almost like it pretty soon, pretty quick as they saw you and got around you and dated you and they loved you, if that's the case, um, pretty quickly they'd have probably been like, like, wow, I'm, I'm down. And you know, this card is prominent in uh, Leo energy too with the uh, throne having the lion's heads. So, you know, look for that. Now, this is your advice in the relationship. I don't mind this. I think I get this. So, um, you're going to meet this uh, king energy, too, that's very assertive. And the chariot energy is cancer energy. It's very open, very emotional. Uh, but you're being advised by spirit to bring your inner king of swords here to it. And this shouldn't be hard because the king of swords, too, could, you could say that's an Aquarian card. So it's basically saying, you know, uh, yes, it's your soulmate, could be that way, this is your manifestation, um, but, you know, meet this with a strong self. Don't let, I don't think you would anyway, uh, but don't let this overwhelm you. Don't get close to losing yourself in this. Um, meet it in a strong, solid way with solid boundaries, if that makes sense. Um, and that spirit telling you that, so exactly why, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's what this person needs, maybe um, um, that's what they want. Um, it's in some way going to benefit you, because this is the card of telling us what a spirit advise you to do in relation to your other person. Okay, so um, with a lot of confidence, uh, with a lot of open communication, strong communication, very direct with this person. Um, and I, there could be any number of reasons I could just imagine. Now, I, w I love the interaction here of these cards. I love the chariot to the king of wands. Uh, after we get past the star to the three of cups, I love it. And I love temperance here to the king of swords. This is a beautiful energy. Your person's advice and how to deal with you is kind of to tone it down a little bit. Part of it, part of it is for them to just kind of tone it down a little bit. Uh, there may be a little extra, Leo's coming up more and more, a little extra, and um, it's almost like energetically, like they're just kind of like, <sighs> coming down a little bit, and this is the Sagittarius energy, read that as you may, it's, this has got to be a fire sign here, people, and um, this is that energy of the word, and it's just because everything's okay, um, the, and what spirit then would be telling you if you're cross-watching, uh, your Aquarian's not triggering you. You don't see any red flags. There are no problems. That's the temperance. That's Sagittarius. It's like, why is my so uptight? There's really no problems. It's cool, you know? Uh, and when it is. And, um, and then with you, it's kind of like you're a little bit of the opposite. It's kind of telling you to uh, tighten up a little bit. Um, and this has to do with the way your energy's uh, interacting. Um, and I can kind of see it, you know, where the cancer, the chariot could be soft and hard, bringing in a balance. They're coming in with a lot of fire, confidence, maybe overconfidence, passion. And they're just being told to tone it down, to temper, temper your sword in the flame, right? It takes a little time. Um, it's a really nice interaction. I'm loving it. Um, and the king of swords so interesting you guys might be at a distance this chariot was indicating that uh my sense is that you're drawing them to you but you could be doing going to them you know these things flip-flop anyway i never mentioned that but kind of assume everybody hears this all the time anyway kind of assume i'm not the first tarot reader you watch too you know but if you are hi <laughs> um so knight of uh swords and that's just the coming at you coming at you knight of swords i call him he's coming at you and uh, again, I was saying about you being very direct. So I think it's advice for spirit for whatever reason is that both of you uh, be decisive about your words and actions. Uh, make sure that your words meet your actions. Uh, it's also, I think this can speak to manifestation down here at the core. It could even be be a little cautious about your mind 
at both of you because now I, you might again you could be apart and maybe some stress here you got to work things out I don't know um, but it's like don't because you're if you're manifesting you know then that negative thing could then get projected out into some kind of negative manifestation excuse me so <clears throat> um, but as the advice too it's really about you guys communicating and coming together um, my, I just got it in me. It's like uh, both of you need to say I love you. Both of you need to say I want to make a commitment to you. Both of you need to say I'm 100%. I like that. And, you know, there may be things that you have to say that are just truthful things. Um, it's not really bad or good, you know. Um, I like to sleep on the left side of the bed. What about you? <laughs> I'm a morning person. What about you? Uh, you know, uh, I really want to live on the ground floor and uh, really hate high rises. What about you? That kind of thing. Uh, a little bit nuts and bolts energy. You know, we've got the emperor here's overall energy. I do look at that nowadays. But I do see both being very strong. I mean, you're showing up as strong as a person can get. You're in your own element, your own card. Um, you're coming in with this chariot energy, this beautiful energy to have for someone. You don't really have chariot energy, in my opinion, towards someone unless you're at a high vibrational level. That's just how I see it with chariot energy. Um, you know, it's it's not uh, low vibe in any way. So both of you are high vibing individuals in the Nine of Cups here. So this is interesting. Uh, it's not going to say, I'm just not saying you guys are going to be single. What this is saying is the outcome of the heart spread is that you guys said, uh, this might be good for an Aquarian as you classically kind of look at what Aquarian energy is. And it could work for a Sagittarius energy too. It could even work for Aries energy. Um, but both of you will be comfortable emotionally in your own skin. Both of you, you won't be needy. You know, neither of you will be clinging on to each other in any kind of emotional way. Uh, both of you be emotionally whole and self-fulfilled basically happy within yourselves, content within yourselves. So you could kind of get me with this Knight of Swords now under the Nine of Cups to, in order to get together um, that you you both may have to do kind of what I was saying. Like you, but you maybe need to assert yourself more because maybe it's not as natural for you. Uh, whereas this person here, your King of Wands person that's responding to you, um, it's probably uh, very natural to them to assert themselves. Um, and so they're actually being advised, you know, to have a little patience, temperance in, the, in, in this. Um, and, but together, yeah, you guys are going to have to just pound out some things. Uh, but you end up being a couple uh, who is uh, very strong and emotionally you can be together without any um, emotional enmeshment. And so there's like, I get out of this, there's uh, absolutely no codependence, nothing like that in this relationship very mature, very healthy individuals uh, forming an emotionally whole uh, relationship together. So thank you guys. I hope you like that.